Let's just go ahead and open a mystery booster box. Tragic MDG here. I know I'm a little late on this since these came out weeks ago. Well, I missed my chance to buy them for nice and cheap. Then they went way up high. Then they've been coming down a little bit. So I got them for a little bit less than the high. So here I am to give this a shot. Let's see if I get really lucky with these mystery boosters. Cute little box, right? There's only 24 packs in there, so let's get into these. Oops, get a little more light there. Let's see how we do. Here goes nothing. All right, well, let's put this over here. So I think it's Wooberg, right? For you got two white, two blue, preordain. There's a good hit right there, and we'll just pull out all the good ones. That we find like a young pyromancer and then we will scan them up here as we go clear the sleepless i think well the original was worth a little bit so we'll take a look there's a mishra's factory that's decent there's a toxin sliver for our first rare it's a good one um and a revel in riches so we got our work cut out for us we got a foil scrib ranger very cool and uh, hopefully we'll hit one of the really big ones. So let's get the scanner going here. We'll scan up a toxin sliver. Will we? Mystery booster only 89 cents. So the reprint versions of these are sometimes not worth as much as the original, of course. And that's to be expected. So for the lesser stuff, I'm not even going to bother with uh, trying to change the the uh, addition it's not going to see them all as the mystery booster this is like a dual deck reprint young pyromancer should be uh, it's going to see it as eternal masters of buck 29 um, it's probably going to be technically less than that for the mystery version but i'm just going to leave it you can complain at me down below if you'd like there's a preordain for commander and see it sees it as the M2011 version for 295. I'm gonna call it good. Revel and Riches. Originally from Ixalan. 314. So there we go. Feel free to do the math down below and readjust me. I'm just gonna get moving here. And if I hit something really spicy, maybe I'll just see what the reality is. Let's go. We got a regular foil, not a foil foil. Got a Ruin Rat, a Brute Strength. So I can just, hey, there you go, Nettle Sentinel. We'll scan that one. So my understanding is this would be a lot of fun to draft. You're guaranteed, you know, two of each color. So you've got a lot to work with. There's a Millstone and a Centaur Glade. Nope, that's nothing. A Two-Headed Giant and a Foil Leveler. When Leveler comes into play, remove your library from the game. I think... I might be seeing a little resurgence with some combo stuff recently, so. Three bucks for the regular version. Let's see. The Mystery Booster. Retail exclusive. As a foil. Only 83 cents. So you can see the, uh, the difference would be huge. So the original foil would probably be worth quite a bit. There it is. Moving right along. Savannah Lions reprint. Healer's Hawk. Or these are all reprints, aren't they? I don't even need to say that. Breeding Pit. Interesting. Scuttling Death. Let's see here. Nah, not a big one there. Tracker. The Rage. Path Warden. A Cultivate. And a Lightning Helix, which that one's come quite a bit down to. Would have been a Buck. There's a Blasted Landscape. Buck 30. Yeah, those used to be like five bucks. Blasted Landscape. I don't think is really much. Nah, yeah. There it is. Yavamai's Embrace. Ooh, and a Phyrexian Arena. So there's a, oh, and a foil mana weft sliver. So Phyrexian Arena. At the beginning of your upkeep, you draw a card and you lose one life. Yeah, 1075 for the conspiracy version, but the mystery booster is a little bit less, 799. That's a good one. We'll put it here. And a mana weft sliver. So the original, if it was a foil, would have been 525. 
Now the mystery booster version, it already knows it's a foil. It's only a buck eleven. It's all good. It is all good. Let's just see if we can get anything really good out of here. Okay. An interceptor, a cower in fear, emissary. So let's try soul manipulation, a skull clamp. That's a pickable one. Rith the Awakener. All right, so we better check the mystery booster. Four bucks, decent, right? Rith and an Alhammeritz archive. That's pretty decent. So Rith is probably not a whole lot. The dual deck is a buck. Mystery booster, a lot less. So. Alhamaritz Archive and a Foil Glittering Wish. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so Alhamaritz. Regular version probably was like, what, 12, 15? Okay, it found it as the Mystery Booster, 788. Uh, foil Glittering Wish. Yeah, regular Future Sight would have been 568. A Foil Original Future Sight, yeah, 19 bucks. The Mystery Booster all the way down to a buck 49. Yep, yep. The old price was probably based on the rarity of future sight foils, so that is definitely has a big effect on the market. Um, so it might be a long-term hold. But it is a good card. Prodigal Sorcerer. That's cool. Got new art for old Tim. Galactic Blast. Gift of Paradise. A Windy Constrictor. Sneaky Snake. A Coombe Refuge, Brimstone Mage, and a Serendibifreet. And a Foil Triskelion. So Serendibifreet, been printed many times. And that one goes there. Triskelion as a foil, probably... Um, wow, the, the 2011 version is a little bit more than I thought it would even be. Mystery Booster, there's a buck. That's a buck card right there. All right, might have to pick up the pace here a little bit. Maybe not scan everything. Exsanguinate, so I won't. I will scan that. And yeah, I'm gonna have to probably change it. Whelming wave and a noggle bandit. So I don't think the whelming wave is gonna be anything. So I'll just skip that. I'll just try to scan the ones that I think are good. See, Soul Warden used to be one that was scannable. I don't think so anymore, especially not a reprint from this set. Eternal Witness. That's worth scanning. Yep, Mystery Booster, four bucks. Okay, great. Meddling Mage, cool. Very cool. Um, oh, and a Collective Brutality. Even more cool. There we go. Oh, and a foil intruder alarm. So we got a nice little hot pack there. 905 for the Eldritch version. Mysteries, five bucks. And a foil intruder alarm. The glare is getting me. So the original foil would probably have been great. Mystery booster version, eight bucks. So we're on our way still. Full of value, these packs, right? Some of them. Next up, Disenchant Dispel, Mog Fanatic Roots, Unclaimed Territory, whoops, wow, I'll just throw those anywhere, why don't you? Unclaimed Territory in Standard I think was a little bit, I don't know if it's worth really much now. Eh, still okay for an Uncommon. Mystery of Buck 80. Guided Passage and a Decree of Justice. Nothing big there. Nizumi Short Fang in foil. Let's check this one. Come on, see it? There we go. Mystery Booster, foil, 85 cents. Next. Rumar Bonkin. Hmm. Hmm. 
Giant Baiting, Alchemist Vial, Kragenwick Cremator, Dictate of Heliod. That's a, mm, a buck, but I'm not going to change it. Dictate of Heliod. Nothing big there. And a Hornet Sting. Next. Caught in the Brights. Fog Bank. Good card. Fatal Push. There we go. And Shattering Spree. Nice. So, Aether, four bucks. Mystery Booster, 270. Do a little staple there. Shattering Spree. Change it. Mystery Booster is not going to show me. Hmm. It says like a buck. What's else? What else? Bajuka Bog. Is that? That's the that's one I would normally scan. Yeah, there we go. And again, Booster card, buck 50. Buck 49. Ooh, Gideon Jura. Wow. So this one is from... Was that like an hour devastation, like Planeswalker deck, maybe? But I think that's like a reprint. Arch Enemy Nickel Bolas set is where that came from. But originally printed in Rise of the Eldrazi. Mystery Booster version. 92 cents for Gideon. We'll put him there. And a foil stocking stone. I don't think is anything big. The Palace Jailer, pretty good, uncommon from Conspiracy. Mystery Booster, buck forty. Annihilate, don't think is a good one. Athreos got a passage. That's a pickable one. Set up my commons over here and an Evra. So Athreos. Originally 14, mystery booster, half of that, seven bucks. Still pretty good. And an Evra Halcyon Witness and a Sundial of the Infinite. Evra is not much. Sundial of the Infinite. Mystery, two bucks. It's adding up. Adding up, let me take care of my piles here. There we go. All right, about halfway through this thing. Cards, cards, Dawn Reflection, Vengeful Rebirth, Ashnod's Altar. We'll look at that one. Mystery Booster 595. That's a good one. Misform Shrieker and a Birds of Paradise. Let's check out this one. Nah, nothing. Birds of Paradise and a Balefire Liege. This one's been reprinted a lot. Still five bucks for this reprint. Balefire Liege. Original's pretty good. Mystery Booster, a lot less good. Still a 240. All right. Moving right along. Goblin War Chief. Mm, might not be worth a whole lot, really. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Blade Wing the Risen. Icy Manipulator. A Tinker from Urza's Legacy. I don't think that's a big one, though. Even, especially not as an uncommon. Hey, I was wrong. 222 for. That's pretty good for an uncommon. Mystery Booster. Still a buck. Prey Caesar Dragon from. Um, Plane chase? Just a little bit. And a Sosuke, son of Sh Sashiro. Did I say that right? Foily there. See it? See it? Ah, oh, just a. Nothing big. Mystery booster, 45 cents. We'll just throw it there as a foil. Send to sleep. Deep analysis, indeed. Imperious Perfect. I always say Imperious Prefect, which I think is what they probably should have called this card. 
Mystery booster, 64 cents. Hot soup coming through. Yeah, that's funny. Ah, Perforos. God of the Forge and an Audric. Okay. Uh, Mystery booster, 12.99. There we go. Audric is probably not a whole lot. Mystery, 68 cents. And a delay as a foil. I'm going to have to probably pause for a second. I'm going to do something here. Ah, can you see it? Delay, delay. Wow, actually, I was really wrong about delay. Mystery booster, four bucks. Only got one. Whoops. Only got one. Okay. There we go. All right, I got to pause this. Okay, I'm back. One drawback of using your phone to scan your cards is that when you get a phone call, you got to stop everything, right? There we go. All right, so moving on. Slipstream eel. Commons. You gotta look through the commons because you might get because there's actually uncommons. You might get an explosive vegetation. But Bing, not that one. It is that one. It's a buck. Very good card. A knuckle V. Chromatic star. This is another one. Hey, and the Gitrog monster. Let's see. Mystery booster, a buck ninety-nine. The other printings have been going up over the years. Gitrog monster and a foil harmonic sliver. This guy here, regularly seven ninety-nine. Mysteriously four forty-one now, and a foil harmonic sliver. Mystery booster two thirty. There we go. Dismantling blow from Modern Horizons. Cool. Cool. Crop rotation. That's a pick one. Dual decks is four bucks. Mystery booster two fifty. Not bad. Reliquary Tower. And okay, switch the edition. Where is it? Mystery 259. That's good. Timely. Oh! Well, I did really well this pack. Timely reinforcement is pretty good. A uh, mana crypt. This is what everyone hopes for in these boxes. Very glad to see this. Mana crypt. Well, bing, $130. Well, it's about what I paid for this whole box right here. So that does it. That does it right there. Let me get a sleeve. Da, 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 da. Sick. There it is. A zero casting cost artifact. At the beginning of your upkeep, flip a coin. If you lose the flip, Mana Crypt deals three damage to you. You can tap it to add two colorless to your mana pool. And why wouldn't you? There we go. Well, put this in its own special little spot. I've always liked Gilder Baron, just the art on it. I don't think it's really worth a lot, but there we'll, we'll uh, check it. Eh, a little more than I thought. Mystery Booster, a buck twenty-eight. That was a hot pack right there. Some great uncommons. And the best card in the set. Yeah, I'll take that. Next up, what do we got here? Denitha. Totally lost. Hey, that never happened. Trust me. Arbor Elf. Implement of Mouse. A Lotus Petal. Oh, ho, ho. very nice. I love finding these in my random buys. Mirari Conjecture as well. Let's see. So, regular ones are... Yeah, that's about what they've been for... Tempest version, 829. Mystery Booster version, 727. Or 776, sorry. Mirari Conjecture and a Foil Mind Slaver. That one's not going to be worth anything. And a Mind Slaver is... Three bucks. Wow. Wow, I'm still very stoked about my Mana Crypt.
What else could I get? Inquisition of Kozilek, I th think is good. Yeah. Uh, a couple bucks for this version. Jungle Barrier. A Bear Cub, the Portal version. And a Sudden Demise. So Portal version 236. Um, the Mystery Booster, yeah, I can't imagine it would be worth very much at all. I mean, the portal version is just more rare, and that's the only re reason why it's really worth anything. Send Demise and a Boundless Realms as a foil. Nothing big there. Boundless Realms. Mystery, a buck 81. Okay. The impulse. Should I take the impulse? It's nothing. Gifted Aetherborn. That's decent. Mystery booster version. Still over a buck. Jungle Shrine. Ancient Den. Probably not worth scanning, but I'll pick it. Arch of Araska and a Ravenous Trap. Buck 95. Mystery booster, 75 cents, so. There we go, getting down near the bottom of this box. Pretty happy with it, I gotta say. Laboratory Maniac, so this the price on this got crushed when it got reprinted in uh, Ultimate Masters, but still doing okay, the mystery version, three bucks. Hedge Mage and Aether Hub this is another one that in standard it was really good. But it's really not a whole lot now. I'll throw it there. Contagion class, a beacon of immortality. So that one's probably pickable. Beacon of immortality. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. The beacon is a buck fifty-seven. The mystery version, a little bit less. Boy, if this was the original Amulet of Vigor in foil, would probably be worth quite a bit. Let's see. Yeah, so the original World Wake would have been 21 in, in non-foil. See that 50 bucks in foil. So the Mystery Booster being 14.99, not too shabby. So this is one that I would imagine even this version is going to kind of trend upward over time. Um, very high demand in EDH, right? So, um, yeah, that one's good. We'll take it. Nothing big in this section. Soul Ring, there we go. Hey, a Dictate of Erebos, that's a good one. And been printed a few times. Four bucks for the mystery version. Dictate of Erebos and a Steam Flogger boss. Dictate of Erebos. 573. Um, Steam Flogger boss and a Marrow Nar. Ah, I'm going to call that a buck. A Marrow Nar. Nar. Wow. 20 bucks for the original printing. Original foil would have been 40. The mystery booster version is only 348. And again, so this is a case of an older set. The foils were worth quite a bit. And this reprint is going to probably drag it down. Um, but if it sees a lot of play in certain formats, it may just trend upward as a needed reprint. Okay, anything good in here? Vandalize, let's see. Now, I'm thinking of something else, I think. Fairy Conclave, the original printing would be a little bit, but this, wait, it didn't see it right. Air Servant, what's that? Fairy Conclave. Eh, 50 cents for the mystery. Gitu Warcry, Talia's Lancers. 
and a fiery gambit. That's nothing big. Fiery gambit. Seventy-four cents for this version. All right, down to two left here. Circular logic. I don't know if that's going to be a whole lot. Not really. Thought erasure as a reprint can't be that whole much right now. Nah. Impending disaster and a tireless tracker. There we go. Two fifty for the original. Seventy-eight cents for the reprint. And a Lumithred field. Mystery, mystery, mystery. Five eighty-five. That's a cool looking card, I gotta say, but it's probably not worth anything. Alright, last pack right here. One more big thing, maybe. I can't ask for a whole lot more. Vampire Nighthawk. Used to be worth like a buck. I don't think so now. Blightning, another one that has gone down quite a bit. Eater of Days. Sword of the Animist. And a Myogen of Life's Web. That's pretty decent. Sword of the Animist as a mystery booster. Four bucks. And a Myogen. This is one of the better Myogens. Yeah. Mystery version of buck seventy-four. There you go. Approximately three hundred and forty bucks out of this uh, uh, very nice little box, with uh, this being a good chunk of that. So not too shabby. I'm very happy with this box. Um, there it is. Mystery booster from MTG. Thanks for tuning in. Um, catch you on the next one.